Yo, what is going on everybody? It is your boy Crypto. Welcome back to another video! Today's video, we are going to reminisce and rewind on one of the funniest videos to ever be on YouTube from one of the greatest YouTube channels to ever bless the platform. Epic rap battles of history, Donald Trump versus Hillary Clinton. So if you guys didn't know, the US presidential election is one month away, I think almost to the date, one month away, and I thought, what better way to live in the moment than to rewind back to this rap battle of last year or last presidential election in 2016. It's been four years already. What the hell? Now I have seen this before, but like I said, it dropped in 2016. So I have undoubtedly forgotten so many of the bars, the schemes, pretty much everything. So it's gonna be like watching the video again for the first time. So I'm gonna do my best to break down some of the punchlines that I catch for you guys. Maybe not all of them, but might be all of them. Who knows? But yeah, if you didn't watch this back in 2016, you missed history. But I am here to give you a history lesson. So, Donald Trump versus Hillary Clinton, epic rap battles of history. I hope to God they do one for Donald Trump versus Joe Biden. These are the greatest videos ever. Oh, man. Oh, I missed that noise. <laughs> Yo, my man Lloyd playing Donald Trump fucking perfectly with the little smirk. Shout out to Epic Lloyd. I actually did a cypher for him. Probably three, four weeks ago, I believe. It was about the pandemic cipher over on his channel. Uh, not the pandemic cipher. It was all about the pandemic and how our lives were affected about that. Super genuine guy. Super nice guy. Talked to him a handful of times otherwise. And he's, he's a really, really nice guy. I can't wait to meet him one day. Um, but yeah, he, he plays th these roles that he does in these videos absolutely incredibly. The research they do on these, insane. Uh, yeah, I, I'm going to quit bigging it up now. You guys can watch it. Where's <laughs> it? <laughs> that smirk in the background, bro. Happy since I met MLK in person. I'm a woman of the people. That's for certain. You're a man of the people who don't like turbans. I was living in the West. Okay, so back when Donald Trump was running for election, uh, or like right when he got elected, I know like he was proposing a Muslim ban, not a Muslim ban, but like bans from specific areas of the world that notoriously targeted the U.S. for terroristic attacks. And so that's kind of where that punchline comes from. I can't remember if he successfully did that for a little bit or not it's, it's been so long since that happened and i was a lot younger uh but yeah i know that was like kind of where that punchline came from while you were professional wrestling got skin like <laughs> russian dressing from too much russian investing uh, bro, I, I might i might be pausing the whole time but uh skin like russian dressing uh you know he's got the the loose flappy skin russian investing there was a whole uh thing where he's like really good friends with putin and the Russian investments into the election, the rigs and everything, which is funny because didn't, I think Hillary got caught for like the Russians. No, maybe not. I think Russians like got involved in the election somehow. There's so much fucking shit that happens. Okay. You can't, you can't get on my ass about this stuff. Um, she said, I was living in the West wing while you were professional wrestling. She was, that's not entirely accurate timeline wise, but it's still funny because she was Bill Clinton's wife or still is. And while Bill Clinton was president, she was obviously living in the White House. And then Donald Trump actually was on professional wrestling. Um, who was it? I think it's Bobby Lashley and Umaga were fighting in WrestleMania. And um, Stone Cold Steve Austin was the referee. And Bobby Lashley was Donald Trump's guy. Umaga was Vince McMahon's guy. And the loser had to get their head shaved. And so I believe... Uh, Donald Trump got to shave Vince McMahon's head. I was super into wrestling back then for whatever reason. I think that specific event I was interested in because Donald Trump was there. Uh, Stone Cold Steve Austin was there. I think this is right at the end of wanting, of watching wrestling. Sorry, they got super in-depth right there. But yeah, that's what happened back then. I've been going bankrupt since the 90s. If it was any rock, you couldn't find me. You don't care about the... Uh, okay, let's go. You've been going bankrupt since the 90s. If it was any rock, you couldn't find me. You don't care about the job, <laughs> Trump. You just think that desk is shiny. You fire celebrities on the on the apprentice i actually watched the apprentice a lot i had to watch it in high school for one of my classes on business and marketing uh but he had a tv show where his famous line was you're fired and uh would just fire people that tried to work for him as an as an apprentice um what else did she say in there there was some cool like rhyming stuff there's a little bit of filler bars in there but uh you know what can you expect there's not there's only so many things you can say uh, if I was in Iran, you couldn't find me. There was a whole thing where Trump couldn't point out where Iran was on the map. I believe it was Iran. It was somewhere uh, that he pointed out the wrong place on the map. But I say this 
You're racist. Oh, you must get so pissed that your hands are too small to stop and fray. You use your fingers to catch chicks. She's only 12 years old. That's enough. Shit. But she's married, sir. Just gotta get pushy. That's your daughter. Well, grab her by the pussy. Ah, God bless. Okay, I, I forgot the grab her by the pussy line came in. Uh, if you're unaware of that, obviously there's like the whole thing where the locker room talk, grab her by the pussy and everything like that. Um, fuck, what else was said in that that I missed? I just got to get pushy. She's only 12 years old. And, oh, the hand's too small. That's what I wanted to talk about. Um, yeah, everybody always joked about his hands being too small. I think, uh, was it Jeb Bush that was making fun of him during the debates about his hands being so small, insinuating that he has a small penis? <laughs> yeah. Uh, great time. You're talking. Well, grab her by the pussy. Ah, oh, then they talking about like how his daughter was beautiful and stuff like that. They're trying to pull, pull that card on it. Man, they got so many interwoven bars here. Pussy. Ah, that's a soft brother. Don't tell me the victim's at fault, sucker. Don't know shit about snakes. You're the ones on the eighth all gray. I'm stuck on the same day. I'm gonna rock and roll. Red bitch on the sea like murder she wrote. So go ahead, down and let me see it flow. I promise you'll speech. I have some quotes. Let me just say. Okay, so you don't know st shit about stakes. He had the Trump stakes that failed miserably, but the ones on the 8th are great. Uh, I think the election was November 8th, so the stakes that were at hand were great for Hillary Clinton because she thought sh that she was going to win. I could be completely reaching right there, but that's kind of where I, I thought that bar was going back then. Uh, I love, like, the shout-out to the Adam Sandler. That's assault, brother. That's from, what is that, Billy Madison? Uh, good times. Hey, I respect all females. <laughs> this man's Bill voice is great. trash. Put up next to your email. <laughs> I'm crisis. Who wants to vote for the mother of ice? That might not be exactly true, but I don't do for like that. Man, his mannerisms. Your bill's worse than Cosby. Oh, dude, yeah. that is one of the dopest bars in this whole thing. Talk about misogyny. Your bill's worse than Cosby. Holy fuck balls, that is such a dope bar, man. That's why I love the guys at Epic Rap Battles, bro. They completely go off on some of these bars, bro. Bill Clinton with the Monica Lewinsky thing, the whole sex in the Oval Office, the come on the dress. Uh, Bill Cosby obviously roofied women to sleep with him, so it's pretty insinuating and pretty insultful to say that her bill is worse than Cosby. Uh, your rhymes are trash. Put them next to your emails. Absolutely hilarious line. Uh, this whole thing is just hilarious. Uh, she had like the all the emails that got deleted and put it in the servers and all this other shit that put America at risk in Benghazi. But anyway, here we go. You left a mess on that dress you like you left, left in Benghazi. <laughs> 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 Man. Break the glass ceiling, Hillary, I sense it. The only crack you'll find is my ass pressed against it. I'm just ready to run. Yeah, that's a, that's a good bar, too. Uh, you want to crack the glass ceiling, um, Hillary, I sense it. But the only crack you'll find is my ass pressed against it because he's on top of the glass, cracking the glass, so he's always above her through the ceiling. Funny bar, uh, he left a mess on that dress like you left in Man and like you left in Benghazi. That was, like I said, Bill uh, Bill Clinton came on the dress, the mess in Benghazi. Oh my God. How do I say this? Here too. And you almost lost the primary to a socialist Jew. <laughs> but the American people got a Yankee doodle do. You're gonna throw your fat face at the just the dirty you. Man. What a strong male leader who could stand up to China. Not a straight little wishy washy bleeding on <laughs> vagina. I'm gonna run these oh streets God. like I run my casinos. I remember this part being where it got a little washy for me because I could t I could sense that ERB was kind of taking their own shots at Donald Trump in this instead of being more down the middle like they typically always are. Uh, but it's still fucking hilarious to me when they do stuff like this. So I, I didn't knock them for that. Uh, God, I, I already forgot some of the stuff that we're saying. That, uh, the fucking Bernie Sanders impression where she lost to... Uh, she almost lost the primaries to Bernie Sanders in the 2016 election. Uh, she failed in 20 in 2008 when running no 2012 when running against Obama for the presidential election. Uh, yeah, good bars, good bars. Man's epic voice impressions are crazy. Run back. Are you 
oh man so like all of that right there was pretty much uh it was like subliminal shots at donald trump right there but it was like half truths almost it was i mean it was it made sense it, it definitely made sense but these are my this is literally my favorite part of all the election videos is when abraham lincoln comes in on a flying fucking bald eagle Kidding me with this blah blah blah. I have a mind to freeze your balls. Come on, over time. I have a mind to have a discussion up in TMZ. You got brother black and brother on the Facebook page. That is true. Sick and tired of this ridiculous shit. If this is the best, my party gets it. My party should quit. I'm sorry. Did I say something that you found funny? Wipe that creepy ass smile off your face and beat this dummy. And if she does. Fucking beautiful. The the, the buildup that they have, like, ignore the fact that it's a political de debate and political diss tracks, if you will, against certain people. Ignore that. The actual rapping of this, the actual structure of the songs, the buildup, the emotion invoking is fucking spot on it, like does so much better than normal songs do bro like th that right there i was like lifting up out of my chair feeling the instrument the instrumental rise fucking peter rapping his ass off right there and like his voice rising especially when donald trump was his voice is rising at the air uh right there at the end everything was just super tying in together and it was great constructually as a song so that's again this is why i really 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 enjoy the people over at epic rap battles because they understand songs they understand how to write them they understand how to write really thoughtful and deep double meaning punchlines. they're just really fucking good over there uh but yeah who's one who's next that's the end of this one in the behind the scenes bro that was such a good video uh shout out to my good friends over at erb my man peter my man lloyd you guys are awesome i cannot wait to meet you guys one day really 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 am hoping for a joe biden versus donald trump epic rap battles right here uh right as election time comes by but let me know what you guys thought about this video if you guys want me to react to some more erb stuff um i've probably watched them all there's probably some that i haven't i'd be more than happy to get into them i really like those guys like i've said a million times this video and uh drop a like if you guys are new please subscribe and if you are subscribed already turn the notifications on to all uh youtube specifically told me to make sure you guys do that and that's why my views have not been getting out there because uh the notification issues so please Please, for the love of God, put on all notifications. I love you guys, and I will see you in the next video.